that. Right now, people are kind of more amazed at the rapidity of what's happening throughout the world. Uh, and they're seeing it on social media. They're seeing it, you know, happen in real time around them. Um, so that's the issue. All right, there we go. Um, I don't know what happened there. So let's just talk blue blockers, Jack, because yeah. the connection's a little spotty. So um, thank you. So basically, what do you think, like, when it comes to coronavirus, obviously an innate immunity is going to be the key thing to help people protect themselves. Would you, would you say that's the case? And how do blue blockers play into that, like blue blockers and sleep upregulate up -regulate innate immunity? Well, it's a big, it's a big deal because right now everybody's peeled to social media, especially to Twitter that breaks really fast to get updates, to see what's going on in the world. So if you know, you're going to have increased screen time, you got to protect your eyes with good blue blocking glasses at night. And you know, this is one of those few times where I'm going to actually advocate for people to be on social media, to increase their screen time. Cause you know what? you have to start operating with the best data to make the best choices for you. So if you're going to do that, you have to have eye protection, good eye protection to help you. I mean, iris helps, you know, blocking the screen different ways helps, but you got to wear the glasses. I mean, think about when you're outside. I mean, you can see me right now. I'm inside. I have my red light on, but you're outside. You got artificial light around you. So in, in my opinion, um, having a high quality pair of, Blue blocking glasses is one of the ways for you to improve your redox potential. And I think, I don't think there's a question anywhere in the world. People are peeled to social media to see what's going on. Yeah. So could you describe a little bit more like when someone's wearing blue blockers at night, obviously it's improving their melatonin and their circadian rhythm, but how does that directly get into like from your experience, improving immunity? Well, in this, in this specific virus, the coronavirus, not to get too deep into science, there is a receptor protein called the ASE2 receptor that coronavirus works on. It turns out that melatonin is one of the cofactors uh, for that receptor. So here's the big, big take home. When you're low in melatonin, especially endogenous melatonin, it makes you more susceptible to the viral infection. That's part of the reason why there's several papers out there that are beginning to advocate for the use of melatonin orally to offset the risk. Um, we're never going to know that definitively, but you know that I've told everybody I'm not a big fan of oral melatonin supplementation, but what am I a huge fan of? Wearing blue blockers because that protects your endogenous melatonin in your body. So I'm always going to tell you the default to the low-hanging fruit. And to me, the low-hanging fruit is wearing your blue blockers so that you can impede the virus from getting into your cells. You know, if, if it comes down later in the road and you get a huge viral load and you're getting sicker and sicker, you may opt for some of the other big pharma solutions, kind of like supplemental melatonin, potentially chloroquine, potentially some of the other antivirals that are out there. Even today on my own private Q&A, I talked about potentially the use of nicotine for the same reason I'm talking to you about melatonin. They act on that same receptor. These drugs can all have beneficial effects. Here's the problem. We don't know because we've never done a good enough study to advocate 100% for the drugs. But you know what we do know about? We know that blue blocking glasses protect your melatonin. So why in the hell wouldn't you do it? Absolutely. So, and potentially from what you've discussed before, not, and very likely exogenous melatonin could actually disrupt endogenous melatonin and maybe make the problem worse. Would you say wow. that that could be the case here? Yeah, and that's what I'd be worried about. Uh, the thing is, though, if you're getting sicker and sicker and sicker and getting closer and closer to being intubated or on a ventilator, uh, would I then tell you that going for a last-ditch effort for the melatonin may be worth it? Then I would say okay, because the one thing that we know with this virus, if you're going to get intubated, at least from China and Italy, the mortality rate's over 90, 99%. You want to really avoid being intubated if you possibly can. So anything you can do uh, to that end then makes some sense. That sounds pretty good. Awesome. And as far as blocking the actual wavelengths of light that are going to affect melatonin, 
the reason raw optics is superior as we, you know, obviously you're the scientific advisor of the company. So all of the design, all the specs and everything come from your focus on blocking the right wavelengths up to 550 nanometers. Why is that so critical in general, but in particular with the coronavirus? Because what, you know, what is, what are the, those wavelengths below 550 really doing to the circadian rhythm and melanopsin and everything? Well, the number one thing they're doing is they're lowering your melatonin. And we just said melatonin controls autophagy and apoptosis in your mitochondria. But it also has this other collateral effect on this receptor that this virus uses to gain entry into, your, into the cell. So that's the main reason you do it. And remember, the key frequencies where most melatonin is made is 435 to 465. But as the way the retina is built and the melanopsin receptor is built, it goes all the way up to 550 nanometers. So you want to make sure that that even spills out into the green range. So you got to be careful, not only with the blue, but some of the green as well. And when we're talking about a life or death situation in a pandemic, to me, you know, people are going to the store and they can't find some of these medications. Like you can't find Ventolin in the United States anymore. You can't find chloroquine. You can't find basic medications, but you know what you can still find? You can find blue black glasses. So that's to use it. Yeah, absolutely. And we actually have a production facility that's not closing. They have less than 10 people working there, uh, you know, to, to comply with the, uh, the whole regulations, but at a time, but it's very nimble and very effective and they're doing everything possible to, you know, we're doing everything possible to stay operational throughout the whole crisis, taking all the safety precautions and everything's been completely sterilized throughout the facility. So, you know, as much as we can, barring any serious government restrictions, we're going to keep shipping, producing, and making eye protection so that people can boost their redox out of the crisis. So is there anything else, you, Jack, you'd want to add? Uh, you know, yeah, people the, know the only other thing I would add is when you do get your glasses, just to double down and make sure it's okay. If you're smart, go out and buy yourself uh, either a UVB or a, a UVC light to sterilize all your mail when it comes in. Why? Because it's been out there. UVC lights are toxic to uh, most living things, but it's a great sterilizer. We use it in surgery. Uh, but I think you can even use UVB light, like something you would get, say, from a reptile light. That way, when your glasses come and the postman brings it to you or it's in your mailbox, you can sterilize your package and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to, you know, wash, uh, wash it off with soap and water and and potentially, you know, ruin your glass case or things like that. You know, those are just common sense kind of things for people to think about. Uh, since you're really buying the glasses because you understand light better, here's another use of light that most people can use. And I think in this uh, environment where we're dealing with this viral infection, having a, a reptile light around you uh, to give you some benefit to improve your innate immunity makes a lot of sense. Awesome. That's going to be great. Um, well, Jack, thank you very much for this information. I think anyone who hears this is going to benefit tremendously and they can use your discount code, obviously optimal so that they can get a nice discount on a pair of glasses and ideally get a couple to be stocked up. Um, so yeah, I think that that's everything as far as blue blockers go. So, all right. 